In this video, we're in Google Sheets, and I'm going to show you how to highlight differences between two lists. I have a list of customers in January, and I have a list of customers in February. I want to highlight new customers in the February list. To do this, we're going to use conditional formatting. And we're going to have to use a formula to create that conditional formatting. I find it useful to type that formula into my worksheet. And then when I know that formula works properly, I can use it in my conditional formatting. We're going to use the VLOOKUP function to find out whether these customers appear in the January list. Equals VLOOKUP. Search key is the first customer name in the February list. Comma. Range is the range of sales that contain our January customers. Now I do need to fix that reference because I'm going to be copying the formula down. And I can do that easily by pressing the F4 key at the top of my keyboard. That'll put dollars in that range reference. If your F4 key doesn't do that, then you can always type the dollars in. Comma. Index is the position of the column within my range that contains the values I want to return. Well, we only have one column, so the index has to be one. Comma. If it is sorted, you can just put in a zero. Close bracket, press enter. Now, if I copy this formula down, you'll see that it returns an NA error if the customer doesn't appear in the January list. Now, for this formula to be useful for conditional formatting, I need to return true wherever I have an NA error. To achieve this, I can use the isNA function and I nest my VLOOKUP function within isNA equals isNA open bracket, and then I need another close bracket at the end of my formula. Press enter, and then I can copy this down. I now have a formula that I can use in conditional formatting. I'm going to double click on this cell and copy this formula, control C on my keyboard. I'm then going to select all of the February customers. I go to the Format tab on my menu. I go to Conditional Formatting. Over here on the right, I can create my rule. I'm applying it to the range that I've selected, E3 to E14. And in the Format Rules dropdown, you need to select Custom Formula Is. Then in this box here, I can paste in my formula, so that's Control V on my keyboard. The default formatting is this green color, but I can always change that. And then I can click on Done. And you can see it's highlighted the new customers in the February list. Now I've achieved what I've set out to do. I can delete this column where I created my formula. And we've completed our task. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.